Young people, in His name we keep going. If the world to go to win the prize, take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation soul by soul, on a ship proclaim the gospel of hope. Make this the vision, achievers and mission for Christ. An achiever in mission keeps going. In His name, we keep going. Faith is a matter of going and not knowing. When the Lord God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, Go to this land that I will show you. Abraham had no idea exactly where he will go. But today, we still talk about Abraham. He became Abraham. He became the father of many Join us tonight, young people, aimers, let us worship our faithful God. Yes, let's all stand and let's worship the Lord together. So here I am to
there, Amber! Welcome back to another episode of Top of the List. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. I'm Pastora Tessa, together with me today, Andy and Pat. Hi, Amber! I'm Lauren, and for today's Top of the List, we will look at the ways on how we can exercise self-control in our lives. So all self-controlled young people, let's go! Number 1. Control your thought life. It says in Romans 12 verse 2, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Amen. Your mind is now renewed. You are free to choose to think of unnecessary thoughts or not. You can control your thoughts. So set your mind on the things of the Spirit. It says in Romans 8 verse 5, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Number 2. Control your tongue. It says in Proverbs 18 verse 21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Our words are powerful, young people. Let our words be a blessing to others, especially when we are at the peak of our emotions. It's better to calm down first and think before saying anything. As it says in James 1 verse 19, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Number 3. Control your emotions. It says in Proverbs 29 verse 11, A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. Instead of venting out your emotions, control it. It shows wisdom. Keep that heart healthy and free from unnecessary emotions. It is also a way to protect yourself and so not to regret it later on. These are just some of the many things that we can learn from the Word of God that will help us to live a self-controlled life. And these are all possible as we let the Holy Spirit work in us. Galatians 5, 22-23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Amen to that! Truly, it is not a struggle to live a self-controlled life. Agreeing to you, Andy, always remember Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Be self-controlled. We are achievers in mission. Oh, oh, oh. where we get to hear you testify God's goodness in your life as you have served Him well in your campus. Today, we have two testimonies, and the first one is from Brother Angelo Amor, a Go Group member and also a team member. Brother Angelo, what's your shout-out? I'm Christian Angelo Amor, a Go Group member in Nazareth School of National University. I want to testify God's goodness for I was able to graduate senior high school with high grades, and I want to share to you this verse. It says here in Matthew 6, verse 33, Seek first the kingdom of God, and righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you as well. Glory to God alone. Amen and amen to that, Angelo. You know what, young people? You may be joining us here right now in this Achievers in Mission program, but you have not yet joined a Go group in your campus. And you may be hesitating because you may say, Pastor, I have a busy schedule and I don't know how I could manage that. But you know what? As we have heard from Brother Angela today, that as he has attended faithfully his Go group, God also blessed him with high grades. You know what, Amers and young people, God desires to bless you. Amen. So, join a campus Go group now. Alright, so for our second shout out, we have a testimony as well from a Go group leader in the Adamson University and her name is Trisha Cunho. Trisha, what's your shout out? 
Hello, I am Trisha Faith Junio, a campus co-group leader in Adamson University. I want to praise God first because I was able to represent our school in the DLSC Research Congress last April. And then just this August 7, I graduated senior high school with high honors. But not just that. God is so good because my Go Group members also graduated senior high school with high honors. And last but not the least, I passed the college application in PLM with the program Bachelor of Science in Biology, which is my first choice. Let me read to you a scripture in Proverbs 16 verse 3. It says there, Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Let us always remember to commit everything that we do to Christ, and He will surely grant us success. Amen? Amen! Praise God! Wow! Amen to that, Trisha! And we totally agree! Praise God! And we are so happy for your blessing and the blessings of your Go Group members as well. Well, I hope you all enjoyed our testimonies today in our Shout Out Aim Edition. Always remember Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So, why don't we all shout out together? Hello there, Amers. Welcome again to our Amplified segment. Let us open our Bibles in John chapter 20, verse 29. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. We want to talk tonight about in his name, we keep going. You see, in order for us to keep going, we need to believe first. And here in this passage, Thomas have a problem. He did not choose to believe. So very important that we choose to believe so that we can keep going. And I want to give you an object lesson for tonight of a finish line. You see, runners race, runners run in a race to meet that finish line. To let their body splash towards that finish line. When they started to run, they have no vision yet of that finish line, physically. But they keep running. The more they run, the nearer they come towards that finish line. You see, in this life, it's not about seeing the finish line from a short distance. Life is not a sprint. Life is a marathon. Life is a daily decision to live for Christ. A daily decision that in His name, we keep going. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining towards what lies ahead. So what keeps you going, Amers? What keeps us going in this life? What is the reason we wake up in the morning? What is the reason we make decisions in this life? Because you know what? Other young people, they don't make a decision to move forward in their life. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. For all the promises of God, find their yes in Him. That is why it is through Him that we utter our Amen to, the God, to God for His glory. To the God of glory, we utter our Amen. We end our prayer in Jesus' name. Why? Because we know that He who promised is faithful and because we know that he who promises faithful in his name we keep going we keep running the race because we want to finish the race we want to meet jesus face to face one day and we want to hear from him well done good and faithful servant what have god entrusted you right now what has he given to you right now are you making decisions to finish the race? Because He who promised is faithful. Through Jesus Christ, we answer our Amen to the God of glory. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you because truly in your name, we can keep going. We can finish this race. Just like the Apostle Paul, he fight the good fight of faith. 
Lord, help us. Help us, Lord, to choose to believe, to choose to keep going, to choose to keep running this race until we meet that finish line, until we see you face to face in heaven. We worship you, Lord God. We pray for your supernatural help, guidance, provision, strength, and miracles, Lord God, to flow upon the lives of our young people. We love you so much, God. We worship you, Lord. Help us to never give up. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. That you, who began a good work in us, will bring it to completion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Always remember, you are an achiever in mission in Christ.